Hi guys, Rene here and welcome to the workshop. Today I'm going to continue on the theme of winter riding because really honestly I'm, I'm just struggling to get comfortable outside and it's been super cold this week, uh, sub-zero temperatures so I stayed on Wift all week and done some quality training but in the next coming weeks uh, the temperatures should be above zero so I really want to make good use of that and well honestly starting with uh, different kinds of bikes my time trial bike as you can see it's in bits right now but that's definitely not the option you want to ride when it's cold because you go fastest for a given effort which gives you a lot of wind chill and also your arms and elbows are locked in the rests in a very static position and I find that it's uh, very uncomfortable because well, your whole upper body, uh, sorry, your whole upper body freezes up because of that. So not ideal. The road bike isn't much slower, and yeah, the position is better because you can wear it, you can change it up a little bit uh, with different hand positions. Uh, but I still had problems with my feet. And the thing is that few brands that I have access to, and I like make winter road bike shoes. Whereas, quite many make winter mountain bike shoes. So, I decided to get some and test them out because uh, my feet are actually uh, the coldest part and the one I struggle most with. So, yeah, I decided to try these out, but more on them a, late, a bit later on. So, cross bikes, uh, yeah, they're pretty good to be ridden in the winter when the conditions are bad. The one problem I have with riding outdoors and the reason I didn't ride outdoors this week as I said it was sub-zero and sometimes just above zero and the problem with that is if you have some muddy patches you get your bike dirty and then when you arrive at home and it's freezing again and you can't wash the bike uh, that's my main issue with that and, and I'm quite pedantic about maintenance and I'd hate to just you know leave my bike muddy around here even though they are a bit dusty now and I said I can't really wash them because it's freezing so anyway when the temperatures will creep above zero a bit more then I'll give these shoes a go so these are Shimano's brand new MW7s I think they're called yes there it is and they're a winter specific mountain bike shoe off-road shoe perhaps multi-purpose shoe even could be used for hiking I guess uh, so as you may know most cycling shoes are specifically designed to be well ventilated light and airy which is superb in hot conditions or even cool ones but definitely not in the frigid cold of winter and I have three or four pairs of overshoes thick socks thin socks merino socks whatever none of them really seem to help me uh, and of course if you put overshoes on a mountain bike shoe you just look like a bit of a dork so that's not the option I wanted to go and actually these aren't very expensive uh, so I decided to try them what's different uh, with these uh, from regular shoes now Shimano shoes are quite roomy in general these are even a bit more roomier because well, they're designed to fit a winter sock which is great uh, the sole is nylon obviously I'm not going to be uh, racing or in too much of a hurry in the winter because it's going to be sloppy and muddy uh, the cleat is recessed so uh, typical two bolt mountain bike cleat uh, super grippy looking Michelin uh, rubber tread on the bottom just like a hiking shoe although it seems plenty stiff when just standing uh, on it as you can see the upper is uh, much less ventilated there are perforations here I think they're more or less cosmetic because these should be waterproof as well equipped with a Gore-Tex membrane as you can see here and this nice little folding flap with the super tight velcro that I can't undo with one hand just about 
So this should prevent water ingress from splashes, which is great. Uh, then a neoprene upper cuff. So essentially like you would be wearing an overshoe. Then the boa dial runs underneath, as you can see. It's not the higher end version. It's the same actually as I have on my uh, saddlebag right there, on the silica saddlebag. So you have to pop it up to loosen it. There is no two-way action. And then you pop it back in if you want to tighten it. So that's how it works. It's the uh, more simple style boa. And there's only one. It should be plenty enough because of these Velcros can be adjusted quite tightly as well. And there's this little bit of a gator section actually runs all the way into the shoe. I'm not really sure if that's visible here. So yeah, should be plenty warm and waterproof without the need for any silly overshoes off road. Nice grippy sole, not super uh, super stiff in case you might want to push. Although the outer volume of the shoe itself seems to be quite quite large, so I hope I don't get too much crank rub with these. But overall. Uh, they appear to be very nice and comfortable and hopefully warm and waterproof. So this is what I'm planning to try out next week. Uh, and even if I don't go out too much on the road this winter, maybe I can put a mountain bike session in here and there just to keep uh, the bike control and, and bike handling skills a bit fresher for next season where I want to really focus on cross-country marathons and also time shows. But yeah, you know that already. Okay, so if you want to know more about the actual bikes and equipment that I use uh, in warmer climates or perhaps indoors, then don't forget to tune into the channel and subscribe. It's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.